Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell, my hair looks a little bit different and that is because I dyed it for Halloween this year. Dan and I dressed up as Gomez and Morticia Adams from the Adams Family for Halloween this year. It was actually a really disappointing Halloween this year. For one thing, I had to work on Halloween for the whole day. And second of all, we didn't have any trick-or-treaters. So we bought a bunch of candy and we still have a bunch of candy. The night before, however, Dan and I went to go see a live performance of the Rocky Horror Picture Show and that was a lot of fun. Anyway, I'm getting off track. So this video is actually going to be a review of the product that I use to color my hair. The product that I used was the Overtone Coloring Conditioner in the color Rich Black. This is not the first time I've used this product. I actually used this early on in the pandemic last year. I used the color Golden Brown just to kind of test it out and see if I liked it. And it was a very, very subtle difference because I wasn't really ready to go with a drastic difference, but here I am with that drastic difference. How you use it is you apply it to dry, clean hair using gloves. You let it set for about, I would say, 20 minutes. It says to let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, but I think you should wait for at least 20 minutes just to make sure that it sets in. And then you rinse it out with hot or warm water until the water turns clear so you don't see any more dye going into the water. There is no need to bleach your hair for this, but the lighter your hair is, the more vibrant color you will get. If you have darker hair like Dan, he, it will be a more subtle look. This is semi-permanent, so what that means is that it will come out little by little when you wash your hair. How many washes it takes to get out really depends on a lot of different factors, like your starting hair color, your hair health, or your hair type. So right now I have washed my hair one time since dyeing my hair and it started to fade a little bit. If you look um, closely, I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of see some blonde coming back out and I know there was one side of my hair that you could see some blonde, but you can't really tell on this camera though. After one wash, it is mostly still there, but just starting to fade a little bit. I will keep you guys updated down in the description as far as how many washes it actually takes for me to get this all out. Dan also dyed his hair black for Gomez and he has washed his hair only once, I believe, and his hair dye is mostly out. His brown hair just looks a little bit darker than what it normally looks like. And I think because his hair was darker to begin with, that may have had a factor as far as how much dye came out, but I don't know. I read that if you want to maintain your hair color, you can reapply the coloring conditioner once every couple of weeks, or they also have a product called their daily coloring conditioner that you can use to just kind of maintain your hair on a daily basis. I really like using this product for Halloween and cosplay. It is non-damaging to your hair, it's really easy to use, and Overtone has a ton of different colors that you can choose from. It's all the fun of dyeing your hair without damaging your hair. That is about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Also, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any new videos from me. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitch. All of my links are listed in the description. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!